Hi, hello children. How are you all? Welcome back to my class. Today in this class, we are going to continue our same lesson of maths that is multiplication. So, children, already you know what is multiplication. What are the properties of multiplication? How to do the multiplication? And we have done the revision exercise. Then we have completed some of the examples from the textbook. Then we have solved the exercise 1.1. In that we have solved first main, second main, third main and the fourth main. Right? So if you want to see those video how to solve these exercises, you can get all the links in my description box. So please do visit it. Okay? So in today's class we are going to solve the fifth main of exercise 1.1. So, here solve the following problems. Okay. So, just read the questions properly. So, first question. Mr. Siddhappa is a fruit selling agent who exports oranges. One box contains 144 oranges. If he export 259 boxes of oranges, find the total number of oranges exported. Okay, so here you can see that it each uh, a single box contains, one box contains 144 oranges. So if we exported such uh, boxes, the number of those boxes are 259. So you have to find the total number of oranges exported. Okay, so first what you have to do? Yes, you have to write the particulars. So let's write it. So see here, first... Uh, one box contains 144 oranges. So, number of oranges in a box is, in a single box is, yes, it is 144. So, we will write here 144. Right. Next one. If we export 259 boxes of oranges. So, number of boxes. How many boxes are there? 259 boxes. So, we'll write here 259 boxes. Then, find the total number of oranges exported. So, the total number of oranges exported. So, we have to calculate it. Okay. So, first here we'll write 144. What we have to do? Yes, we have to do the multiplication. Isn't it? 144 into 259. So, let's do it. So, here I will write this number. Yes. 144 into 259. So, let's do it. Already you know the multiplication, right? So, you have to start the multiplying the number with the number which is there in the unit place. So, 9 fours are how much? 9 fours are 36. So, 36. So, 6 I will write here below this number. And the 3 will carry over to the next place. Next. 9 Forza, you already know, we have to multiply this whole number with the first number. Then after finishing this one, we have to multiply this whole number with the second number, which is in the 10th place, right? So, 9 Forza 36 next, 9 Forza 36, again, 36 plus, we have to add this 3, carry, right? So, 36 plus 3, 37, 38, 39, so 39, isn't it? Right, so I will write the 9 here and the 3 will carry over to the next place. Now, 9 ones are 9 plus 3 carry. So, 9 plus 3, 10, 11, 12. So, 12. So, this, where I have to write this 12? Here, because here there is no number to give the carry. So, what I have to do in this case? Yes, I have to write this whole number that is 12. I will write this full number. Okay, next. We have done with this number. Now come to this number which is in the 10th place. 5 fours are how much? 5 fours are 5 fours are 20. Isn't it? So 20. So this 0 I will write here. No. I have to write here because this number, the number which we are multiplying, this number it is in the 10th place. So we have to start writing the answer from the 10th place. So here what I have tried? Addition. Right? So 2 will carry over to the next place. 5 fours are 20. 20 plus 2 is how much? 22. So, this 12 right here and this 2 will carry over to the next place. Next, uh, next one. 5 ones are 5 plus 2. 5 ones are 5 plus 2. Carry. How much it will be? 7. So, I will write 7 here. Isn't it? Then, we have done with this number. Next. 
last number which is remained the number which is in the hundred place two four za yes two four za eight so i'll write here eight here or here or here here because this number is there in the hundred place you need ten and hundred so we have to start writing the answer from the hundred place so two four za eight here what i have to write in this both places plus very good next four uh, sorry two four za how much two four za eight again i will write it here then two one za two right so now what i have to do here there is no number to multiply right so we have to add all these numbers 6 plus plus 6 if there is no number means we have to write the same number here next 9 plus 0 is 9 plus 9 because there is no number next 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 8 is 4 plus 8 is 12 right the this 2 i will write here and this one will carry over to this place either you can write here or else here okay next 1 plus 7 is 8 8 plus 8 is 16 so 16 the carry one is how much it is 17 so 7 i'll write here again we are having one more number so i'll give carry to this number one okay next 2 here there is a no number so 2 2 plus 1 the carry 3 Isn't it? So, what is the answer here? Thirty-seven thousand two hundred ninety-six. Thirty-seven thousand two hundred ninety-six is the right answer. So, here we have to write one sentence. Therefore, total total number of oranges exported is how much? Thirty. Yes, tell me. Thirty-seven thousand. Two hundred ninety-six, thirty-seven thousand two hundred ninety-six. Understood. So the, these are the total number of oranges exported. Understood. Yes, very good. Yes. So children, now come to the second example, which is in the page number seven only. Okay. So two. In a protected forest area, one hundred sixty trees are planted in each row, and one hundred and eight trees in each column. Find the total number of trees planted in the forest area. Okay, so here you can see one hundred sixty trees are planted in a row. Okay, then and one hundred eight trees in a each column. So find the total number of trees planted in the Forest area. Okay, so let's do it. What we have to do first? Yes, we have to write the particulars. Here you can see. Yes. So first one here you can see that one. Uh, the one hundred sixty trees are planted in each row. So the number of trees in a row and the number of trees in a column. That is one hundred eight. Here you can see number of trees in a row. How much? It is one hundred. One hundred and sixty, right? One hundred and sixty, and here number of trees in a column is it is how much? One hundred and eight. So I'll write one hundred and eight. Next, what you have to find out? You have to find the total number of trees planted in the forest area. So here, total number of trees planted in the forest area. Okay. So here, what you have to write? One hundred and sixty. Into one hundred and eight. We have to multiply to get the answer. You have to find out the total number of trees. They have given the rows. How many trees are there in the rows? And how many uh, this one trees are there in a column? You have to see the total number of planted trees in a forest. Okay, so let's do it. One hundred sixty into one out eight. One hundred and eight. One hundred sixteen to one hundred eight. So let's multiply it. So always you know that how to multiply. So let's do it. You just try to do it with me, okay, children? So eight zero zero eight six a how much? Eight six a forty eight. So forty eight eight. I'll write here, and this four will carry over to the next place. Eight one a eight. Eight plus four nine ten eleven twelve. So here I will write this. Whole full number twelve because here is the no number to give the carry, isn't it? Now come to the next number zero zero. How much here I write? No, because this number is in the tenth place. So zero 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 six zero 
zero ones are zero. You know that this is one of the property of a multiplication. If you multiply any of the number with zero, the answer will be zero itself, right? Yes. Next, this one. This one is in the hundred place. So, unit ten here. You have to start adding the answer from the hundred place. So, one zero zero, one six a six, one one a one. Right. So here there is no number to multiply. What we have to do? Yes, you have to add all these numbers, all these answers. So zero plus plus zero, eight plus zero, plus eight plus zero plus eight. Isn't it? Here is no number. Means zero only. Eight plus zero eight, eight plus that is eight. Next two plus zero two, two plus zero is two. One plus zero is one plus zero is one. One plus six is seven. Next, here is a no numbers means one itself. So what is our answer? Seventeen thousand two hundred and eighty. Seventeen thousand two hundred and eighty. So therefore, what you have to write here? Therefore, the total number of trees planted in the forest. The same thing you have to write. The total number of trees planted in the forest area. Okay. So see, here. therefore, the total number of trees planted in the forest area is how much? It is seventeen thousand two hundred and eighty. Seventeen thousand two hundred and eighty. Understood? Yes. Yes. So children, now come to the third problem. A dealer buys twenty-seven bicycles for his showroom. Cost of each bicycle is rupees two thousand sixty-seven. Find the total amount paid by the dealer. So a dealer he buys twenty-seven uh, uh, bicycles for his showroom. So the the cost of each bicycle is rupees two thousand sixty-seven. So what you have to do? You have to find the total amount paid by this dealer. Okay. So here let's write the particulars first. So yes, here it is there the solution. Yes, so yell this n means it is nothing but the solution, the particular. Okay. So first one, the number of bicycles. Number of bicycles is is twenty seven. So there are twenty seven bicycles. Next, cost of each bicycle is rupees two hundred sixty. Sorry, two thousand sixty seven. Right. So the cost of each bicycle is how much? Rupees. This is a symbol of rupee. You know it, right? Yes, rupee two thousand sixty-seven. Next, what you have to find out? You have to see the total number of total amount paid by the dealer. So, cost of total bicycles. Okay, that is two thousand sixty-seven. Okay, into twenty-seven. So, let's do it. So here I have written the same one. You have to write like this only. Okay. So seven seven is how much? Seven seven is forty nine. So forty nine. So this nine I will write here, and the four will carry over to the next place. Next seven six is seven six is forty two. Forty two plus four is how much? This carry we have to write right. Forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six. So forty six. So this six I'll write here again. This four will carry over to the next place. Next seven zero 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 plus four is four. So I'll write this four here. Next seven two is how much? Seven two is fourteen. So here there is no number to give the carry. So I will write this whole number here fourteen. Right? We have done this number. Now two two seven is how much? Fourteen. Right, so four I will write here. Here, no, here because this number is there in the ten place. So here I will write this addition fourteen four, and this one will carry over to the next place. Next two six a how much? Twelve two six a twelve twelve plus this carry one that is thirteen. So this three I will write here, and the one will carry over to the next place. Next two zero zero plus this carry one. So zero plus one is one. So I'll write this one here. Next, two two is a four, right? So now here there is a no number to multiply. So what we have to do? Yes, let's add these numbers, right? Okay. So here, 
9 plus. So, no number is there means 9 only. 6 plus 4 is how much? 6 plus 4 is 10. So, this 0 I will write here. And the 1 will carry over to this place. Here, if there is a no space to write. You can write this carry here. Okay. Next, 4 plus 3 is how much? 4 plus 3 is 7. 7, then you have to add this carry. 7 plus 1 is 8. Next, 4 plus 1 is 5. 1 plus 4 is 5. So, what is our answer is? It is 55,809. 55,809. So, therefore, you have to write the final statement, right? So, therefore, what you have to write? The total amount, you have to write the same sentence you can see in the, here, the find this one, this sentence you have to write, the total amount paid by the dealer is, the total amount paid by the dealer is how much? It is 55,809, that is rupees, right? So, you have to write the symbol, so rupees 55,809. Okay, if they are asking about the amount, you can write this symbol. Okay. So, yes, children, the next fourth one is there here. So, I will read this question. You to try to do it by yourself. Okay. So, a farmer grew 23 quintals of wheat. He sold them for rupees 1,935 per quintal. How much amount did the farmer get by selling the wheat? So, farmer grew 23 quintals of wheat. If he sold for them rupees 1,935 for per quintal, so how much amount did the farmer get by selling all these 23 quintals of wheat? Yes, so first what you have to do? First, you have to write the particulars okay so now children you just pause this video here for the two to three minutes and try to do it by yourself okay so children hope you try to solve that problem so here is the answer for you the number of quintals of wheat grown 23 cost of each quintal of wheat that is rupees 1935 cost of 23 quintals of wheat that is 1935 into 23 okay so here i have done that uh, i have solved that uh, problem so, therefore, the farmer got rupees 44,505 by selling the wheat. So, this is your answer. You just try to see whether you have done the uh, or you, whether you have solved the correct problem or no. If you have solved it correctly, very good children, keep it up. Okay. So, children, we have solved all these pro problems. We have solved this exercise 1.1 and we have completed. And here we have completed this whole lesson. That is multiplication, the first lesson of your maths part 2. So, hope you understood how to do the multiplication. Yes? So, children, in the next class, we will continue with the uh, second lesson of your maths. That is division okay so till then take care so be with me and children if you think the video is really useful to you you know what you have to do yes you have to like it share it and subscribe it okay thank you